πάμε να δοκιμάσουμε λίγο το fast travel. Δεν το έχω δοκιμάσει μέχρι τώρα. Και η αποστολή τώρα που έχει να πάρουμε, αυτή που βγάζει τη μόνη δηλαδή, είναι εδώ στο Καλίγκα Χολ. Να δούμε πως δουλεύει αυτό το fast travel. Εντάξει, σίγουρα θα θέλει πιο λίγη ώρα να πας ε, στον προορισμό. Γιατί χωρίς το fast travel πρέπει να βάλεις waypoint, βάλεις και τη vet camera. Ωραία σκηνικά. Α, δείχνει και στιγμιότυπα μέχρι να πας δηλαδή. Μπράβο. Στιγμιότυπα από τη διαδρομή θα είναι αυτά να υποθέσω. Τι boundary λεφτά, boundary μας έχουν. This here the gray plantation? Yep. Caligar. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Be our dumbest deputy yet. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavis Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. 
We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. I must black some gross. So long and good luck. If you do me this kindness, sir, I shall not forget it. Ωραία μουσικούλα, ε. <laughs> Εντάξει, ο Μίχλη έχει. Μπραδάκι έπεσε.
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. Ρε, Πινελόπη, τι μας έχεις κάνει. Τρέχουμε μέσα στα σκοτάδια για να σου φέρουμε το γράμμα. A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... <laughs> from Bo. Oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Τις αρέσει το κοτσομπούλιο της Πινελόπης. Σε πέντε λεπτά μας τα πει όλα. Έχεις μια φαμιλία, κύριε. Δεν, δεν πραγματικά. Λοιπόν, αυτοί τολερούν τον επειδή του χρόνου. Αλλά με τις ιδέες από την στάση μου, δεν μπορούν να στάσουν. Αυτό ακούγεται πολύ κομπλικάτη. Δεν ξέρω ακριβώς τι να πω. Δεν έχω να πω κάτι να πω, αλλά ελπίζω ότι όλοι θα ρωτήσουν. Δεν ξέρω. Λοιπόν, μπορείς να πω λίγο. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Come on now. Me? I'm working for the Grays now. Κάνε ρε το αλάνι Τα είσαι τα άλογα Έχεις τα μου Ναι Έχεις κάτι για μένα Ναι Μπορείς να το έχω Ναι Αλλά θα σου κοστίσει Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. 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 Progress is a dirty word in these parts. 
Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Πού θέλει να μας πάει ρε φίλε τώρα το αλάτι Bo, you know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. Beloved, My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, and we fetch the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. I'm gonna go on some other. Please stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down! Come on, come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Ladies, 
ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Yeah. That's right, you tell it. His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. Darling cousin to listen. <laughs> I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, well, you always was Bo. a cocky little Where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All of us. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all the ten minutes. <laughs> sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so, but, uh... They keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Ρε την καψούρα έχει ο Πιτσιρικάς, την Πινελόπη.